Hey there, jet ski fans, and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm not in my garage. This is the home of the Jet Ski Brothers. I made it to Washington, everything went well. And so you guys will be seeing some footage of that in some upcoming videos. But the video you are about to watch is from actually uh, July 17th, I believe. I was out at Pine Cooley, tried to do some tuning on the 650 XI and my X2, and it didn't go exactly as the plan because it was terribly busy. So I ended up going to Twin Valley Reservoir and things didn't go exactly as I wanted there. I ended up going out on the water and doing some testing. It was absolutely beautiful. The water was perfect. So uh, all in all, it was an amazing day. The last time I was at Twin Valley, there was a lot of seaweed that uh, caused some problems. I was out on the SXR 800 that I had built for somebody else and I was also testing my carbon fiber ride plate, so some of you may remember that. Anyway, let's get into the video. I don't know where people tune their skis normally. I guess they're not nearly ob ob as obnoxious as this thing is, but um, got this backed into the water and started to do a run. There's some people over there fishing and talking and sunbathing, and yeah, after like three seconds of running this thing you're just yeah I, I can't I feel too bad there's it makes way too much noise so especially on the trailer the exhaust isn't in the water at all so it's just screaming like a demon um, so I'm gonna try to go to Twin Valley there's probably gonna be people fishing there I'll probably have to wait till nine o'clock at night or ten o I'll have to probably have to wait until the Sun goes down <laughs> just turned the low speed screw on the front carb all the way in and the idle picked up and uh, it seemed to sound a little bit better I don't know if it picked up on camera but that means very likely that I'm uh, running way too rich down low I'm not sure why that would be these are factory 1100 uh, jets but anyway I'm going to lean it out on all of the low speeds the same and then we'll uh, move on to the high speed oh yes one thing that i wanted to check while i was here was the flow of water in the exhaust because i'm ne never able to monitor that when i'm riding hopefully you guys can see me over here yeah i've got the low speed screws all turned out half a turn i'm going to start it up again and see if it sounds a little bit more reasonable down there
backing in. Yeah, it still looks rich. Maybe I should swap in a new set of plugs. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I've got Bouncing off the rev limiter there, so it wasn't a good test, but we'll see what it says. I think I'm just going to ride here. I'm just going to throw the seat and the hood on. I've definitely done a little bit with the low speed, but as far as the high speed goes, I'm going to have to test that under full throttle. And the pump just can't get enough water sitting on the trailer the way it is. So, yeah. Let's just uh, unhook it, take it for a little ride here. You guys comment below if you remember my last outing at uh, Twin Valley. <laughs>
for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, the water was absolutely perfect. Glass smooth and uh, yeah, not a lot of people out there. I did, uh, you know, have to go in and out of the water a few times to actually do some tuning, but I edited that out for you guys. Um, the trailer floated away on me a couple times because I had backed in too deep, but that's kind of just a newbie error. Anyway, like I said at the first of the video, I am in Washington. I am hanging out with the Jet Ski Brothers. I'm sure they will be releasing some videos in the future of that. And there's some really exciting stuff happening here. I'm not going to spoil any of it for you guys, but uh, there are new, multiple new skis that you guys haven't seen. Uh, I've gotten to test skis that I've never even seen in person before already. I'm one day in and uh, amazing time. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I probably will be releasing a couple of videos from before I actually showed up here. But um, yeah, exciting stuff. I hope you guys are really excited. That's going to do it for this one. I'm lost for words. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.